Can you make a switch port routable? Well, of course you can. Find out more next. Hi, I'm Ronnie Wong. Before we go ahead and get started here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit that bell for notifications. As we begin, we want to make sure that we understand what's happening here. We want to change a switch port to a routed port. That's what we're actually going to do. Let's talk about why we might do that. So let's take a look at my screen. So what I have on my screen right now is going to be, well, router one, as you actually see in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. And from here, I simply assigned an IP address to it. And on the other end, I have attached to us right here, going to be switch one. So if I wanted to actually route between switch one, which is a layer three switch, and also, of course, router one, I can't really do so. If I take a look here, let me show you why. Let me do a show IP interface brief. Now, currently, you actually see this whole list of different ports that we see, and we see it's possible to assign an IP address to each one of those ports. So the port that I'm actually connected to router one on is going to be the interface gigabit ethernet one slash zero. And now it's pretty much simple. If we actually remember our commands here, IP address, and then this is going to be 192.168. 11.11, .11, and we'll do a 24-bit subnet mask. And now notice I'm actually getting this particular error. Invalid uh, uh, input detected at the marker that we see right here, and that kind of lets me know something. Somewhere along the line, I am not actually able to assign an IP address to this. So if I go back to router one, it doesn't matter. I can't even do any type of routing at all if I can't get anything to actually ping through for us. So it's not gonna actually allow me to do that because I need the word, no matter what here, do. So I don't have an IP address on the other end. How can I do that? It's a switch, but the great thing is it's a layer three switch, which means I do have this chance to change that switch port to make it routable. So the way that we do that is actually fairly simple at this point. Once I go ahead and I'm now inside of that uh, interface configuration port here, the command that I need to actually issue in is the term that's a little bit less intuitive than we think. We actually have to put in the negative, which is we are not going to let this be a switch port anymore. And once we type in that command, no switch port, then I can type in an IP address, 192.168.11.11. And I'll just issue a no shutdown to ensure that everything's enabled. Let me make sure I'm actually on the same exact, yep. So I'm actually on the 11.1. .1. And here it is. Notice that it didn't complain this time when I put an IP address on this switch port this time. So if I can now type in, we'll exit all the way out here. We'll do a ping 192.168.11.1. .1. And in a moment here, we should see whether or not we were actually able to be successful with this you do see the pings were actually returned. So if you ever do need to be able to put an IP address on a switch port, on a layer three switch, I should say, well, this is the way that you can do that and begin to route between routers and switches as you actually need to. All right, well, hopefully that wasn't too bad and actually relatively easy for you. Well, that's how you actually do make a particular switch port routable in the way that you need to. Well, that will do it all for what we actually have today. But if you want to see more, make sure you check out our channel here as well as itpro.tv. We'll see you next time.